back to Fire Princess Reviews. I'm Fire Princess Lily here to tell you about comics, cartoons, and other awesome nerd shit. So, if you watched the Naruto fight video last time we were here, I said that we'd be talking about the Crunchyroll Anime Awards for 2018, and that's what we're doing. I have in my hands every nomination of who I, what I voted for, and what I actually think is going to win, because... Even if I believe in something, it doesn't mean that everybody else does. So, you know, everybody has different opinions. You can vote right now on Crunchyroll.com for all these categories. And if you do, you could be entered into a chance to win a free subscription to Crunchyroll for a year. That's a lot of anime to get the day it drops out in Japan. Do it. You're gonna, I mean, go for it. Why not? You know, maybe I'm not voting for your favorite thing, but you should vote for your favorite thing. Always, anyway. Um, yeah, so uh, let's get into it. Now, like I said, I have a list of who, what I voted for and what I think is going to win. We'll talk about it simultaneously. We can't talk about all the nominations because that would be like an hour-long video. And I don't have the time. You don't have the time watching. So, here we go. First on the list is... Best Protagonist. Now, there's a lot of good protagonists on this list, and I personally am voting for Rimuru Tempest from that time I got reincarnated as a slime, because of course I am. He's a fun protagonist, he's adorable, the anime itself is great, and Rimuru is so friendly and so fun that of course I'm going to vote for Rimuru. However, I think that Violet Evergarden from Violet Evergarden is going to win. I keep hearing about Violet Evergarden. I haven't actually watched it, but all I hear about is how amazing and how great it is. I have never once heard a bad opinion about Violet Evergarden. So, with that in mind, with the fan base behind the show, I think that Violet Evergarden is going to take that, that one. So, there you go. Next is Best Antagonist. My vote was for a Kane Shinjo. Uh, from X S S S Gridman, and uh, yeah, I really loved Akane. She had a really sympathetic story, especially as you get to the end and find out the big twist, which you can kind of guess coming. But even if you did, you would still a very appreciated twist, and it just Akane was a very good antagonist, even if she was technically. The main character of the show, and it's really about her story. It's interesting to watch the antagonist be the main character, I suppose. Um, I don't think she's going to win, though. Um, I was who Here's who I think is going to win. It's kind of a split. Either All for One from My Hero Academia, because it has such a huge fan base. Everybody, there's just a giant fan base for My Hero Academia. And it's not that All for One is a bad villain by any means. He's just kind of, you know, sort of there, and then really there, and then he's in jail. So that's why I wouldn't vote for All for One personally. And I also think it could go to Ryo Hasuka from Devilman Crybaby. Also another anime I haven't watched, but I keep hearing I need to watch it. I keep hearing it's so good. And especially that Ryo is a bastard. So that's why I think... It's going to be one of those two, rather than a Kane Shinja from SSSSS Great Man. Uh, next is Best Boy. Now, Best Boy was super hard. It is a list just full of Best Boys by every stretch of the imagination. Uh, you've got Deku. You've got Honda-san. You got Haida. You got um, Kotaro from Zombieland Saga. It's just all good boys, and really, I had to roll dice and leave it up to chance for who to vote for, and I voted for Deku, because that's just how the dice rolled out. I could have voted honestly for just about anybody on this list, and but that's not who I think is going to win. Uh, I think Haida, or I think Haida from uh, Agretzko is going to win, or uh, Sakuda from Rassel... Rascal, Sim Rascal Does Not Dream of Bunny Girl Senpai, which I also haven't watched, which I need to watch, I want to. Um, but I think that both those are excellent choices to win. I wouldn't even be mad about it. Um, even though I haven't watched Bunny Girl Senpai, um, 
I keep hearing what a great and amazing show it is and how much I need to watch it. And the animation looks stellar and I keep hearing about this is what, you know, a romance anime needs to be. So that's why I think he's got a good chance. Best Girl is their next category and you know, you know I voted for Lily Hoshikawa uh, from Zombieland Saga. Of course I did. Why wouldn't I? She is the best girl. Now, of course, just like with the best boy list, there's a ton of good girls on these on this list. And honestly, this is one of the categories where I think my choice could actually win it. Now, the only other person on the list of the of best girl for that category that I think could also win is my from Rascal Does Not Dream with Bunny Girl Senpai. Once again, I hear it's a really great romance anime. Check it out if you haven't already. I'm going to as soon as I get some time in between my watch schedules and uh, definitely give that a go and probably even review it on this channel. So definitely keep a look out for that eventually at some point. But yeah, I think Mike could win, but I'm really hoping and really pulling for Lily. Go vote for Lily if you believe she is the best girl. I'm not in any way trying to swing anybody's vote. These are just my opinions. <sighs> Next on the list is Best Opening. Um, there wasn't quite a bunch on the, a lot on this list that I had actually seen, so I actually did go and watch them all. And uh, my vote is for Gretzko. Not only have I seen a Gretzko, it's just a super interesting opening. It's like it goes hard, and the way the characters actually move to the song is, I think, really, really good. And I hope it wins. But... With my, most of my categories, I don't think it will. I think the JoJo fans are really, really going to pull through for JoJo on probably all the categories that JoJo is in and maybe steal the show for those categories. Uh, so I do think that JoJo is going to win Best Opening because its fan base is super supportive of it and they want to see it win stuff. So, by all means. Best Ending is our next category and there are a ton of good and fun endings. Uh, but unfair, uh, to me at the very least, there are two different F uh, FLCL endings, Fully Cooly, uh, of course we had, you know, Fully Cooly Progressive, Fully Cooly Alternative, both had to have endings and they're both done by the pillows and they're both amazing. I personally chose uh, Spiky Seeds from, from Progressive and we, we will sh shall see. I think that either of those openings are going to win because it's the pillows. I think the pillows are going to win one way or another, and I can't be happier about that. I could be wrong. The two entries of the pillows could hurt them in the end. So we'll, we'll see. I don't know. <sighs> Next is Best Voice Japanese. And I voted for Mamoru Miyono. Uh, he did the voice for Kotaro for Zombieland Saga. And the reason I chose him over everybody else on the list, most of them I hadn't even seen, but the reason I chose him specifically is because every line that he delivers as Kotaro is done with such enthusiasm and joy. You can tell that he just loves playing the character. He's really into the role. It's really great. He brings a total life to that character, and that's why I think he should win. And you know what? That's who I actually think will win, you know? Out of all the other ones on the list, I think that nobody's bringing their character to life quite as much as uh, Memoro is to uh, Gotaro. Whew. Just talking. Uh, one second for a quick drink break. I don't know why I said it like that. Next is Best Voice Actor in English. I chose Chris Sabat for All Might, and I did that by rolling between him and Cal, Kari, Kari, oh my goodness, I forget her last name, but she has the voice of Haruko from FLCL. I rolled the dice, I chose odds and evens, and Chris Sabat won, and I think he's going to win anyway, personally, because once again, uh, All Might's a great character. My Hero Academia fan base is super huge. I know that a lot of people do watch it only in subs the way I watch it, but um, there are a lot of people who do watch dubs too, and it's not that Chris is doing a bad voice at all. I have trouble listening to it because he's using his piccolo voice, and it just makes me think of 
Dragon Ball Z Abridged, and Piccolo, Piccolo Lines to Go with All Might, and so, you know, whatever. <laughs> Voted for Dad Might. Next is Best Director, which is a category I probably have no business voting in, but in order to win that free year of Crunchyroll, I, I, I voted. Um, Taichi Ish, Ishita for, the, for Violet Evergarden, like I said, I haven't actually watched Violet Evergarden, but I keep hearing like how beautiful, how amazing it is, the story, the cinematography, like, yes, yeah, cinematography in an animated show, uh, just the way things are set up, like, I hear that this is just an amazing show, and that if you're not watching it, you really need to be watching it, like, I, I should be watching it, but I'm not. And who's gonna win? Like I said, I kind of have no business voting in this category, uh, but here we are. <laughs> so I don't know who's going to win, and it'll be interesting to see if I guessed it, more or less. Best Animation is our next category. My vote was for Bloomin' to You, because... Yes, I voted for the lesbian anime. Let's just get over that. Whatever. Who's going to win? Violet Evergarden. For every reason I've mentioned previously, it's beautiful. Somebody has said that it is the only reason that they are watching anime because it is so beautiful. So that's why I think it's going to win. Then we're on to best films. My vote is for Mirari of the Future. Um, it is so great. It's very Studio ghibli as it's just a fun story about siblings learning, well, one sibling learning to learn, learning to appreciate the young sister that he is being given, and a story about a future girl coming back to visit her brother and taking him on all these amazing adventures and looking out for him as a way to show that sisters aren't bad. So I like it. I like it a lot. It's super cute, but. As super cute as it is, as Studio Ghibli as, as it is, it's not going to win. And that makes me sad. Um, My Hero Academia, two heroes, is going to win. Like, and it's not that I don't like that movie. I saw it in theaters with friends. I loved it. Ate popcorn. Got really into the story. I cried. Like, but it doesn't deserve to win. I'm sorry. It's not the best anime movie of the year. But it's going to win because... Once again, fan base behind it. So, in my heart, Marari of the future is is the winner. But I think that Two Heroes is going to take it for the fan base. And also because it's not a bad movie. It's just not the best. This, uh, this uh, last year. Best character design is our next category. And my vote is for Zombieland Saga because... Yes, the uh, girls, when they're in their makeup, are definitely... Generic, idol anime, moe girls, by all means. But, when they're zombies, which is easily 50% of the show, maybe 45, but when they are zombies, every detail is amazing, and it's really good. I love it. I love it so much. So, yeah. Do I think it's going to win? I think it has a strong chance and possibility of winning, so, it's definitely down there for who I think is going to win, but I've split it between three contenders. Uh, I do think Zombieland Saga could win, but I think it's going to have stiff competition for JoJo. Even though I don't watch JoJo, I can't deny that the character designs in JoJo are super interesting and people get into them, and it gives it a strong possibility to win. Likewise, with Devilman Crybaby, I've seen animation clips of it, I've seen the way the characters look, and are animated, and I think that those are also super interesting designs that people super appreciated this year, or last year, I should say, and I think it has a strong chance to win too, so if one of those three wins, I won't be surprised. I'm really hoping for Zombieland Saga, though. Next is Anime of the Year. You would think... Actually, we're going to skip it, because it's actually not the last category. We have two categories that are sponsored. The first one is sponsored by Capcom for Best Fight of the Year. My vote was All Might vs. All for one, like what an impressive fight that never felt like it was dragging on in the intense emotions and just the sense of urgency that came through that fight were amazing. That is an earnest vote for me, uh, looking at all the categories, having seen all the fights in the category and feeling like 
this definitely deserves to win. Um, and honestly, as far as who, who will win, I think that one's going to win. If it doesn't win, it's going to be Naruto and Sasuke versus Momoshiki from Boruto. Uh, that is an impressive just piece of animation work. Animated, it's just it's just really pretty and really well choreographed, and I love it. It's a great fight, and it would totally deserve to win. What I don't think is going to win is Goku versus uh, Jiren. It was long and drawn out, and the payoff wasn't good. There you go. Even if you take the entire tournament of power, cut all the parts where Goku and Jiren fight, and even get to the end where Goku and Frieza not Jiren not the Sage, it's not a. I mean. <sighs> But I think they just mean that part where Goku fights alone and almost awakens Ultra Instinct and then doesn't. And even the part where he does and then it runs out on him or like backfires on him. Like, the fight was not my favorite. I could have a whole rant about Jiren, to be honest. Next is uh, from Verve, the is best containment series. My vote went for Dragon Ball Super. Yes, I realized I just made a huge complaint about Jiren, but talk about reviving an anime from, uh, an anime franchise from, uh, not, not not nothing, but something that only was producing a movie every now and then to producing two, three seasons of anime, like that is, and it's going to have another season this year, it's amazing, it's a great accomplishment, and I really love it, and I think it deserves to win, if there's any justice in this world, It'll win. Yes, even with my complaints about Jiren, like, the fight itself, like, even though it was not necessarily the most satisfying fight, it was still a good fight. Um, but I think March comes in like a lion's gonna win. It's been a strong contender in this category uh, ever since it was introduced into this category uh, last year, so I think it's gonna win. It's, I haven't actually watched the anime, but everybody tells me it's great. There are lots of people who love it. It looks like Honey and Clover. Like, that's how the animation style looks to me. And I really couldn't get into that. But a lot of people love it, and I think that's why it's going to win. So let's go on to the anime of the year, which is the real big one that everybody is, like, waiting on, more or less. I think that's, it's all, it's going to be the last one they're going to, you know, announce of the night, of course. So I think, here we go. Ready? I voted for Zombieland Saga, because of course I did. If you need to know why I voted for Zombieland Saga at length, watch my video on the final episodes of Zombieland Saga, where I talk about it, it had real-world impact. It didn't save, necessarily, the prefecture of Saga, but it did increase tourism. It has brought business to Chicken Tori, and it has started a real conversation, or has helped add to a real conversation of LGBT rights in Japan, and so I think that makes it Anime of the Year for everything it's it's done in a real-world application. Also, it's a good anime. The songs are fun. Like, I love it. I don't normally watch idol anime, and I really this is easily in my top five anime of all time. That's how much I love it. Who do I think is going to win? <clears throat> Violet Evergarden. For everything I've said in this video, I think Violet Evergarden is going to pull out that win, but I hope Zombie Land Saga wins. And that's all the awards. So, a link in the description will be to the website to vote, but you can always find it on Crunchyroll.com. Uh, something I do like about the Crunchyroll Anime Awards is they don't just have anime from Crunchyroll, but Netflix, High Dive, anywhere where you can watch anime, they have something from that platform for you to vote on if that's where you watch your anime. And so, that's why I like the Crunchyroll Awards and I'm willing to support them. This isn't paid because I'm not big enough to get paid. So, that's the video. Next time, we're going to talk about the comic book previews coming out. Because uh, we've already I've already written down what I'm getting for uh, in two months from now. So let's talk about that. And that will be the next video. And tomorrow, we're talking about the slime anime, because of course we are. But until then, I'm Fire Princess Lily, love comics, love cartoons, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!